Welcome to Facebook's video and this multiple burial demo for the Arva Neo. We've got two buried transceivers about 10 metres apart. So we're going to locate one, use the masking function, leave behind a couple of rescue diggers and then locate the second transceiver. Okay, so put the transceiver into search mode. Okay, no signal being received. Okay, so it's got a signal probably right at the limit of its range. So I'll move that way. Okay, the numbers are jumping up and down a bit, but now they're beginning to stabilise. Okay, four, so correcting me a bit to the right. Okay, and I'm moving in. I want to show you the multiple demo, multiple burial features rather than the actual search. So there, what happened there is the dead transceivers now split the signals and it knows there's at least two buried transceivers. Okay, so it's telling me that, but that, as you can see on the left hand side of the screen, there are two men available now. Okay, so it's going to take me to the strongest signal first, so I'll just keep following that. Keep the arrow in the middle as always. I won't slow down too much. And, okay, below 10 meters, there's the tone change. Okay, I would be slowing down here, but I'm just going to go straight in. Okay, and there, below a couple of meters, it's got the marking function in the top right hand of the side of the screen asking me if I'd like to mark this first transceiver, which I'm going to do by pressing the flag icon. Okay, so it's put a little flag icon next to the first transceiver at the bottom right there. And now it's slightly erratic with the distance. Okay, sorry, that's my phone doing that. I've moved too close to my phone. Okay, yeah, so now it's saying that way 20 meters. Okay, it's not quite as far as that, but as I take a little bit, for the numbers will jump down quite quickly, I should think. Okay, yeah, moving down. Okay, once we come to the left. Okay, the tone change as always. Just keep the arrows in the middle, keep going that way. Okay, below two meters. Okay, I can now do my pinpoint search. Okay, there we go. Now it's often to mark this second transceiver, so I'll mark that one. Okay, and once those two are marked, currently it's not receiving a third signal. So it's suggesting if I had more avalanche debris to search, I would go off and do it.